Hello everyone, I am here to speak about Total War games in general and to share some feedback about one specific detail that I would like to see improved for the future, which is the late game. A bit of a disclaimer, this is of course my personal opinion and I welcome anyone that has a different view, so let's also use this video as a place to share different opinions. So I have been playing since Shogun 1, all the way to the most recent Total War Pharaoh. Now although I skipped a few titles or did not play them too much, there's an underlying situation that nearly always happens. See if it sounds familiar to you. You reach a point in the late game that you no longer find as appealing as starting a new game. Maybe you want to be a demon next. You reach a point where you feel you are unbeatable, no matter what. Or you reach a point where you find the game just feels boring or unappealing from that point onwards. Now notice that I'm not talking about the title, it's not necessary. Whether we speak about Rome 1, Medieval 2, Rome 2, Attila, Warhammer 1, 2 and 3 or Shogun 2, there's always this point where starting a new game is much more exciting. Now, many times that I have this conversation, players comment how there's no longer any challenge, and that is the reason they give, it is when they reach the second point above, they feel unbeatable, so time to do it all over again. But here's where I disagree slightly. While challenge is very important, yes, challenge alone is not. And CA has actually been hearing this feedback forever and added challenge and challenge, and still failed somewhat to address the real matter. Be it Realm Divide in Shogun 2, the Civil War in Rome 2, the Huns, the Mongols in Medieval, the Chaos Invasion, etc. Powerful enemy armies rise against you and can be fun for a few playthroughs, but easily becomes the same, especially for anyone veteran that's been playing since forever. It has always been, hey, you have a nice empire and armies, now let's get you more armies to defeat. Or you are a good empire, now let's make it rebel and revolt from within, while you fight to regain what you lost. So what is missing other than challenge? Remember, challenge can always be added, but we are missing late game decision making. Picture this, you start a new campaign regardless of title. You have to decide who to attack, which units you're going to recruit for your armies, which building order and buildings you're going to build, you know, and there's several of them, which research path you're going to take. You also have to decide carefully who to trade with, who your enemies are going to be, who your allies are going to be, and proceed in diplomacy accordingly. You have to level up your lords, your agents, to suit your needs and overall plan of conquest. And this is exciting, because there's a lot to decide. It's a complex game that rewards us by our accomplishment of a good plan, or ends up punishing you for a bad one. But very soon, the decision-making stops. Well, of course, you still have decisions to do, but your armies are already set up. You're not going to change them. Your lords or generals are leveled up, and they're very powerful. Your buildings are nearly all complete, especially military ones. You're left kind of like with public order and income. Your enemies and allies are all set, and for the most part, all that you have left is just to expand. And for that, you just fight, fight, and fight some more, always fighting. And while exciting and nice, it reaches a repetitive point that has an abysmal difference to just a new start. So what do we do? We start a new campaign. The number of people completing the simple achievement of winning the game as X-Racer faction in any Total War game is always incredibly low. This is a frequently asked question, why are players purchasing and enjoying the game but not finishing it? Take some games of the strategy in general, let's compare, brief comparison. Starcraft, Warcraft, you play through the campaign, it keeps sending you different units to use, different enemies to fight, until you unlock everything, and for a few final scenarios you play with that. Similar to Age of Empires ideas, you have scenario after scenario to unlock your race or faction potential, then use it for a bit before the campaign is over. Does it, is it adequate for Total War? I don't know, but the feel must be there. Like in Heroes of Mighty Magic 3, one of my favorites, the Civilization series, keep us having that just one more turn feel. 
bloody expression was invented by them, because there's always something to do and look forward to other than just fighting. But it does not exist when we talk about total war. We don't really have that just one more turn. My recommendation is that we provide this feedback to CA. Challenge is there and can always be added, and they are rather good at doing it, but we need decision making. We need mechanics that are only introduced in the late game, not mechanics that end by the late game. And while I do not have all those ideas, I mean introducing something meaningful in the end game, a series of conflicts that makes you choose a path, maybe for acquiring units, for new characters, some series of events that are both meaningful and impactful, but not simply around the base formula Hey, more enemies, more armies to fight. Now, just a thought, for instance, picture the new endgame scenarios. I love them, they're really good, but imagine this, the, the Vermintide event, for example, implying that you have to foil the plans of the Council of Thirteen of uniting and wrecking havoc over the world. And for that you can use existing stuff, stuff that already exists in the game. Maybe you need to acquire specific resources, or defeat specific enemies for items, or win those via diplomacy or missions, and only then win a specific series of battles, while ensuring the key settlements for your empire stay in your hands. There has to be somewhat of an I-lose circumstance that we can prepare for and make decisions for. Events like the Marius event or the Gunpowder event completely shift the game as well, and you can have these enhanced and be more frequent, for instance. I remember enjoying the campaign differences from StarCraft 2 because of it. You had to choose your units, it would lead to different outcomes and challenges. Or you can go the civilization idea, different victory possibilities. One good thing it has is the end game. You can be a warmonger and win by force, but you can also win by religion, diplomacy, economics, space race, culture. Different ways to win means different paths and it helps a lot. And I know this is total war, not total peace. I do not wish that to change that much. I'm asking just for meaningful decision making in the late game, other than just continuing expanding and fighting. Now with all that in place, I wouldn't really care too much about the setting, regardless if it is historical or fantasy, you know? I know that I would play that game for a ton of hours even more than I already do. And perhaps, just perhaps, it will also be the case for those players that are not finishing their campaigns. Perhaps this is what is also missing for them too. Thank you for watching. Please do comment below on your opinions on the matter. Bye bye.